hey guys welcome back to the channel so in our last video we completed the model for this war horn and uh, today we are going to unwrap this mesh and then export it for texturing in substance painter so before we start this video if you like the tutorials i make for this channel then you can subscribe to the channel if you are new and you can also join my discord server and follow me on the instagram so let's start and first we're going to unwrap uh, this part so it's better to isolate everything all the separate parts before unwrapping and for this part let's use a different tool so let's go to uv and i'm going to select this 3d cut and seal uv tool with this tool selected we can create seams and cut our uvs in this 3d view so let's add a seam here so double click the edging and whatever edge you select like this now if you double click on this edge it's going to convert this into a seam like this and uh, we're going to repeat the same thing here like this and uh, go here and select the shells and unfold like this and for this one i'm going to merge these edges so select this and this edge then move and sew then one more time just select everything and unfold then layout like this orient shell to fix the orientation and then layout like this now let's repeat the same thing for all these other parts again go to uv and 3d cut and sew tool select the seams like this and go to shell mode select everything and unfold and as for these parts these are not unwrapped so what you can do is you can use a different mapping for this one so all these faces are facing the x-axis so we can use a planner mapping so let's go here in the planner and uh, set the projection from x and apply and now select everything and unfold you can press ctrl u which is the hotkey for unfold and ctrl l for layout fix the orientation and uh, layout one more time now for this one again isolate it and uh, go to uv 3d cut and sew tool and this seam is already created so i'm going to select just this one and this one then go to uv shell and unfold and we are going to have the same problem here select these and these are also facing the x-axis so go to create planner and we have already set our projection pro max so we just need to click here we don't need to go back to this option box and set our projection again so just click on this planner and we are done just unfold and layout now select this one and uh, go to uv 3d cut and sew tool and for this one we just need to remove all these seams we don't want all these seams here so just press ctrl and double click it will remove the seam selection and as for the seam this part is good and this one let's remove this and select this
and we are good so select everything and uh, unfold so this is this phase so you can project from x or y it doesn't really matter so we'll do this and then unfold and this one is these faces so again go to create planner and unfold and as for this part let's unfold this or go to create use planner and unfold and uh, we can add a cut here like this and cut then unfold this I'll select everything, unfold one more time and layout. And let's fix the orientation. So orient shell. Select everything, layout and we are done. Now let's select everything and uh, again layout one more time or what you can do is we can separate the metallic part and the wooden part. We can select this part and uh, put this one in this UV island and then assign a new material here. And uh, rename it. Go to edit, delete by type history. Wood and all the metal part assigned a new material. Go to edit, delete by type history. Here rename it to old metal. Now select the metal part and combine them. Select everything and layout. Now we are going to have two separate UV sets for our mesh. One for wood and one for metal. We don't need two separate UV sets for a smaller object like this. But for this one we are going to let it slide. So let's select everything. Again, one more time, delete by type history and file export selection. And uh, I'm going to export here as OBJ. And now we are done with the unwrapping. So let's export this to Substance Painter and start texturing.